Vicky here with you and today is a fountain pen type of day so I'm really excited because I've been following a lot of YouTubers um, that are really into fountain pens and I'm, I'm loving this hobby like I'm, I'm totally loving it I'm loving having the collection looking at stuff looking at vintage stuff uh, it's just yeah it's it's really wonderful wonderful hobby and i think the fact that i love color so much um <laughs> it really helps because of all the inks um i've always loved inks and now it just gives me even more of a chance to use them so this being said they there's a challenge that's um that's been going on for quite a few years from what i see um, that's hosted by Ink Journal and basically Ink Journals they do the uh, ink flights uh, so you've got an opportunity to get a box where you have miscellaneous um, ink samples and I did an unboxing but you just haven't seen it yet um, because I purchased two of their previous um, 2020 box the one from March 2020 and the one from uh, April 2020 and so I got uh, seven samples per per box so that means overall I had 14 new samples so I thought this would be a great way of using those samples because let's be honest it's it's a great way to be using them and I already have one of the samples in this beautiful little shark pen which is a Jin Hao uh, pen and I'm loving this little guy this is like so cheap I mean I'm talking a couple of bucks US uh, but it writes so beautifully and even though I put an ink that has a ton of shimmer in it it just it just writes and it's just wonderful and I love the look so much <laughs> that I'm thinking of getting the other sharks in the other color yeah I'm, I'm a big baby what can I say um, but they reconciled me with Jin Hao because before the the Jin Hao nibs I didn't really particularly like them but this one it just writes beautifully and this one is a, it's a fine but I don't know it just writes amazingly maybe it's because it's for a kid I don't know but anyway I'm having a blast with it so basically I've gotten a ton of new pen pals because I'm on in a, many different Facebook groups and one of the reasons for me wanting new pen pals was to you use up my my inks more often now <laughs> I've joined so many and I've written so many letters that I've actually finished all my March uh, pens and I've got now some I had to ink up new pens in the month of March because I ran out of my five original five original uh, inked pen not including this one because this moon man um, it always sits here in my crafting room and this is permanent ink it's the carbon black from platinum and this I use in my art so this one lives resides here but the other ones I've I finished them all up so now I've got because I finished them all up about a week ago maybe I've inked up new ones and I figured these new ones would be part of the 30 days uh, ink challenge so this is going to be one of them and I've got my other ones that are sitting in here um, this one I already inked up because my dad sent me a, a something uh, he wants me to try to do calligraphy <laughs> so I, I want to answer him back and I needed a, a broad nib for this a stub nib and this is one of the only ones I have I don't have that many stub nibs yet I love how it makes my writing right and and look I mean and this this pen just this Conklin I love it I know that a lot of people don't like Conklin I just adore this one so the other ones are all inked up already um, I have my golden horse uh, my echo uh, Twisby uh, golden horse in uh, rose gold then I've got another kids pen from Jin Hao that I totally adore and this one is a swan and it just oh, it's just so fun and I know it's 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 a kids pen but it's just so fun 
And this one is, is clear, so you can basically... Because I like to pair my inks with my pens. I know. Uh, I know that a lot of people do, so I'm, it makes me feel a little bit better. Because otherwise, I mean... But it kind of fuels the addiction because of the fact that you do need to have all those pens to match all the colors of inks that you're going with. So anyway, this one being clear uh, can go with anything. And I love that these already come with converters, so it's it's so such an affordable pen. I mean, we're talking a few bucks. So if you're looking into getting into the fountain pen world, these are really a good purchase. What's also a pretty good purchase is some of the Noodler's ink. Um, it, some of them come with a, a pen. So this is called a Charlie pen. And it's made by Noodler. And it came with a Heart of Darkness. And it stinks. The pen stinks. It just really stinks. However, it writes beautifully. And um, I tried it out this morning with because um, I wanted to write on my envelopes with fountain pens. And obviously, you can't do it with the inks that I've put in these pens because they're not waterproof. But I tried the Art of Darkness and I put water on it, and almost nothing happened. Like it stayed, it stayed put so on very cheap paper so I'm I'm very happy and this is going to be used for that but my point was that the bottle of ink comes with a pen like this and this pen is an eyedropper so super easy uh, great for um, starting off if you if you don't want to invent like you you can get a bottle of ink and then you can use the ink for your art as well um, I love using ink for that you can do splatters you can do all sorts of stuff it's, it's just really fun um, and in my case because I do mixed media and stuff I have all kinds of ways of using inks um, other than pens but I do love my pens um, this one is a Noodler's um, Creeper Nib Creeper in pink I got this one used on uh, eBay and I've put some pink ink in it and the ink is almost finished so I'm probably I might have to refill this one um, then in this one I also got this one off eBay um, I didn't have the green this is a pilot metropolitan and so I got it used on off eBay and um, I put some ink some green ink in it uh, is the Jacques Herbin Vert Atlantide Atlantic, uh, which I really love and it, it took me a while to get it but I was so excited to get it so I had to ink up a pen right away and this was just the perfect pen for it because the ink is pretty much like the this dark part of it so I love I love 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 the Pilot Metropolitan Retroprop they're just super fun pens um, and I'm just missing I'm missing the black I think I'm only missing the black in the series to have the full set of them. Um, so yeah, that eventually will happen. But the seller uh, that I purchased this one from had the red. So I purchased the red. I already have the turquoise. I have the orange. And I have the purple, which you're going to see in this case. So uh, I'm only missing, I think, the black. And uh, so, yeah, I really love them. They write beautifully. So th these are good. Th these are the ones I already have inked up, um, just because I, I write letters and stuff. So what was super fun with this challenge? Well, obviously, I wanted a case to put my my stuff in because those are going to be miscellaneous pens that are going to be inked up. And I want them all to be in the same same spot so I can find them easily. And I love these cases. They're super cheap. You get them on Amazon. They're made for coloring pencils, but they work beautifully. I've shared that with you guys in one of my previous fountain pens um, videos. And I love that you can carry it. It's 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 pretty safe and it's like I said, it's super inexpensive. This one I think was like 20 bucks Canadian. Um, and obviously I, I purchased it on Amazon and obviously the um, um, Amazon Prime so it cost me nothing for the shipping 
so for sure a great a great purchase at least for me anyway I, I find that I want to spend the money on my pens and not so much on the cases um, there's some beautiful leather ones don't don't get me wrong but um, right now I'm more into uh, investing into my pens my pen collection than investing in cases so because my pen collection keeps uh, getting bigger I always need cases anyway so this was just an excuse to get a new case and I love the colors on this it was just like it totally screams me um, because it's it's a messy fun type of painty paper <laughs> background type of thing yeah if, if you follow my channel um, and and you follow my art and not just like the fountain pen videos you know will know what I'm ref referring to because I make painty papers out of um, calendar pages and then I use those for postcard making and for all kinds of stuff and I love my painty papers I just think they, they're so fun and they always turn out different so that's one of the fun things so what I had fun doing I made a list because you know I'm an accountant and accountant accountants um, usually <laughs> make lists <laughs> and they, they check they do put little check marks <laughs> and they organize themselves <laughs> so um, yeah that's 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 the part of the accounting um, side of me that's coming out um, I have an Excel spreadsheet with a list of all my all my pens and as well as all my inks and um, that's how I keep track of them now I'm behind in putting all the um, all the pens though however because I've gotten a lot of uh, different pens on from eBay and those I, I still have to document and I just want to make sure before I document them that I've got the proper names for them but anyway so these are the ones that I already shared with you guys and then basically what I decided to do is all of these these two here are the samples I've gotten from Yoseka uh, stationery store they've got beautiful I love their little bottles for um, samples they're so cute so I decided to pair them um, with some so basically what I did is I looked at the colors and based on the colors I chose a pen that was gonna go with it so all of my inks have pens beside them except for my vintage pen there's only one ink the, that I've already matched the other ones I'm gonna have to basically figure out um, I'm using my vintage pens with this these inks because they're waterman and from what I've heard waterman makes inks that are okay with um, vintage pens and I got the vintage pens but I do want to use them it's not just for for collecting and looking at them so so basically what I did is I figured that all of my I would use all of my samples as big chunk of my 30 days and I'm thinking that all of these ones I don't know about these two because the samples are a little bit bigger from Yoseka but I'm thinking that these here will probably be empty once once I've filled up the pen so that means I will have gone through all my samples which is pretty cool um, I get a lot of ink bottles and not samples I am it's it's hard for me to justify spending the money on a tiny little sample when I know that I'm gonna love the ink and most of the time when I do get the well actually all of the times that I've gotten inks um, I usually love the ink so I'm, I'm excited about using them and obviously a little sample would not be enough the only ink that I'm not so happy that I'm and it's so so about are the gray inks the uh, the Faber Castell the Van um, the the stone gray and the Lamy one I discovered I'm not so much of a gray person so yeah it's it's funny because I watch some YouTube channels and they're all about the gray inks and the blues and the um, and the uh, blacks I don't have a lot of blacks and I don't have a lot of grays and I don't have that many blues either um, I've actually so I started this uh, following uh, seeing uh, Sarah Kitty and these here are not the proper color verse color ink uh, little cards 
these are actually um, little cards that little flashcards that I got off of Amazon and what I love about them is they fit exactly within the um, the little collectors edition collector uh, sleeves and I keep these here so that I've got my new samples so you can see I've got a lot of pinks and reds type of thing I've got a lot of purple and the thing is I haven't gone through my previous bottles these are all the new ones when I've started doing this but I do have some other ones that I need to uh, ink up uh, and do the, the, the do the, the samples. I've got a lot more um, purples than this. Um, these are my blues so you can see I really don't have that much. Um, I'm missing out of this I'm missing the Twisby Midnight Blue which came as a freebie um, and I'm missing the pilot one that I purchased uh, the pilot Prira and it came with two bottles no, three little bottles of inks from Pilot and so it was a kit and uh, so I'm missing that and then I've got a few greens not that many a few browns and I'm missing in the grays I'm missing the um, I'm only missing the uh, the one from um, Faber-Castell the stone gray out of the blacks I've got three and those are actually all done. Uh, I only have three inks. I love the Mont Blanc. I'm I'm, I'm very ang I'm very like I, w I want to see what is going to happen when I actually put it in a pen, and if it's going to turn out like this green color. Um, it reacts differently on different type of papers, so it's going to be kind of fun. And then these are the ink flights that I got, and some that I really don't know how I'm gonna like is like this one the color verse under the shade is so pale same thing with the citrus black it's like so not my usual style this one is the one that I have in the shark I love 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 that one that one is really a, a fun one um, so yeah those are gonna be the ones I'm gonna be using and I'm missing the two that I got from uh, Yoseka because I, at the time I didn't I, I didn't do those. So I'm keeping the the um, all my samples separately from the rest of the bottles because I want to be able to uh, know which ones are samples and which ones are not. Um, these two here's were were I got an order from Penchale. If, you're, if you follow my Instagram you will have seen uh, my picture of that and I purchased some empty bottles and um, that's another part of uh, the, the, the video that's coming uh, soon of the unboxing of all the fountain pens and stuff um, but I purchased some empty bottles of Sailor inks because I wanted to uh, be able to give to my dad some of my inks uh, because he, you know he's retired and I've got big bottles so I want to share with him and so and he loves to write uh, with a fountain pen he's basically like my first inspiration why I, I got into fountain pens originally because he used to write a lot with fountain pens and I loved it and then and then um, then in 2019 I started getting back into fountain pens because of all the the different people I was following that were doing journaling including Leanne from creatively free to be me and so that got me into the fountain pens but then I kind of stopped in 2020 and now in 2021 it's going it's off the map I'm um, like I'm I'm um, but beyond <laughs> beyond um, addicted so yeah so that's I need to finish that binder I still haven't finished it but basically all these are samples and then I've got my my Robert Oster some of the new ones that I just got and some of the other um, inks uh, including the 54th message to set from noodlers I haven't tried that one yet I've got two Mont Blanc that I haven't had a chance to try. Then I've got the no Noodlers Apache Sunset. I'm gonna try it with the the Pumpkin Poltergeist Noodlers pen. I didn't I didn't love my Noodlers pen uh, before, but I really love the pink one. So I'm thinking that it might be me. 
However, it has a flex nib, so that might be that might be part of the problem. I don't know. We shall see. Then I'm also using the Mont Blanc in the Amethyst, and then I'm gonna use uh, my Golden Ex uh, Espresso Caweco in with my. And these are all the pens that are not there that are ready to be inked. So I've got all the lineup. So they're all there. Which is gonna be fun because some I haven't used uh, recently. Some I really love and uh, I don't use enough, which is like this Montegrappa, this gorgeous, gorgeous Mary Skull, uh, Mary Fortuna. Mary Skull in Fortuna series. It's um, it's the copper, and you can see how patinaed it it's it is. It's just lovely. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And this one is my new little Coeco. I was super excited to find it. It's the Golden Espresso. It's a, a special edition, and I got it at Yoseka. Um, if you do follow my Instagram, you will have seen a lot of the new stuff except for the stuff that I got on eBay I didn't uh, p take pictures of all of those I'm pulling in the um, in the lineup some of my Lamy's because I haven't played with these in quite a long time and so this is also one good way of reusing some pens that I haven't touched for a while like the the Monteverde um, uh, the Monteverde Regatta uh, I haven't used this one in a little bit, uh, so it's gonna be there's like stuff on the little clip bothering me. Um, so I haven't used it in a while, so it's gonna be fun to ink it up. Ink it up. It's a very very heavy pen, this one. Um, but I love. I I was so in love with the color. It's Northern Lights. Um, the last time I shared with my, my collection I wasn't sure what the name was but it's Northern Lights and it's just a stunning stunning pen I really love it um, so I'm excited to put it back um, I'm anxious to see how I'm gonna find the nib this time around if I'm gonna love it as much as I did originally and if like for example these these are fine in the Lamy and I realized that that might be one of the reasons why I didn't like the Lamy experience all so much because I did check and and they seem to be Lamy um, so they, they don't seem to be a uh, fake this one I know for sure is not because that one was purchased at Goulet um, this is my my only all-star I believe um, so yeah and uh, and this is a new edition as well from Panchale, which is a little pelican. I l oh, I'm so, I'm so dying to be playing with these. So they're going to be residing in the case until their turn comes. And now, one of the things with the 30 days, 30 inks, 30 inks in 30 days is you document it, obviously, and so. For that, you need some sort of something to document it. And this is my first time doing this, and I don't know if it's going to be something I'm going to be able to keep up and that I'm going to want to do forever, like continue, because basically it, it goes for all the months that have 30 days. So you've got April, you've got June, you've got September. Um, am I missing one? And November. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to be doing this for other months, um, but I wanted to try it. So I got this tiny little book that I had purchased in, it was part of my all for um, Amazon Japan. It's a Kokuyo little, little book, level book. And I figured it doesn't have many pages, so it would be perfect for this. Now I tested out the paper and it's not the best fountain pen paper because you can see you can see the the bleed through kind of um, so what I'm thinking is of using one page here with the writing and I'm thinking of doing what Manda B is doing uh, what one of the things she suggested which is like write a quote or something and, and in a way so that I can use the pen on the other side, what I'm thinking of doing is using my Tomo River paper. I've got, I purchased these as loose sheets, A4. I use these when I make uh, some journals to sell on Etsy. 
uh, they're usually part of the, the sheets that are included in the journals, in the junk journals or altered books that I make. And what I'm thinking of doing is using, cu cutting these down and so that I've got 30 of them and then I can do splotch of inks on this. And this basically is a very, um, Tomo River paper is really, really good for inks, uh, fountain pen inks. And um, so I'm thinking I'm going to glue it on this side of the, the page. So basically it's going to cover some of the bleed through that you have here. The other thing too that I've, I want to do and I ordered it, it's um, the um, chro chromatography. Uh, so little uh, sticks um, that you put the ink on and then you put it in water and then you see how the ink splits up and I'm thinking of gluing that as well on the side of things. So so that's what I'm going to be using for my 30 inks 30 days challenge. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a video per day. I doubt it. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe film a video like a little clip every day of how I did um, but then to do because basically you post on Instagram every day and that's easy because I can I can just take a picture fast picture it's a different thing to do the editing and everything for for YouTube um, so what I was thinking of doing is maybe filming every day a little clip of what I'm doing but then um, or and then grouping it together for the full week or something or a few days together I shall see I don't know it's uh, the first time I do this um, but I'm very excited I've uh, seen so many people uh, talk about it uh, Mary Odge who is the one responsible for all my purchase of vintage fountain pens she's the enabler um, plus plus like really and then you've got Chris <laughs> Chris Sands, who got me started with this whole thing because from her, everybody else I found after her. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm a bit addictive, like, addicted now. Um, but they're wonderful people and check them out. I will try to remember putting in the description box down below the link to their channels if you're interested. So there's Mary Odge that I follow. Uh, there's um, Talks from the Heart um, that I, I really love. Um, there's also Mystery and Craft that, that I, I, she's amazing. Menda B, I, I just love, love her sense of humor and love, like she's a mini, she reminds me of when I was younger. So I'm not sure that she, she would be pleased with the comparison, the, 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 the comparison but she just makes me laugh because yeah a lot of what she says is the type of stuff that I, I, I was thinking and I'm still thinking so basically it doesn't it hasn't changed all that much and Sarah Kitty Katie um, she's uh, she's a total um, uh, science fiction geek and um, science geek uh, star anything to do with planets and the solar system and all of that and I learned so much from watching her ink videos because she goes into depth of all the uh, the dif different um, exploration that have been going on for the space and it's funny because she does um, my my uh, my husband is an engineer and he was I don't know why I'm going into such a big tangent about my life but anyway <laughs> since I'm there um, I, I, I w I'm a total geek uh, as well you know when uh, growing up I l loved reading science fiction and and fantasy and that sort of thing and um, the Star Wars watching Star Wars obviously um, and then when I met my husband He's an engineer and he was all into Star Trek, so he got me and hooked into Star Trek and I watched all of the different seasons and um, so when I was watching Sarah's uh, channel, I could see the little pop figurines of Star Trek, um, which I found very cute and um, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun, 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 fun universe. Um, you get to see different people um, and it, it's just, it's just a fun place. So hope you guys go and check them out. If you do and if you don't know them already and you go and check them out, uh, tell them, 
I send them and I say hi and um, and if you want to see how it's going with the with this um, well obviously you can watch the videos depending on how I do this but you can also check me out on Instagram because I will be posting out there and that's usually where I post all my um, my purchase uh, some of the hauls that come in uh, as they come in uh, versus and I'm, I'm trying now to do like haul videos where I group uh, a bunch of different hauls uh, this way it's not like staggered and it doesn't look like I'm a haul uh, video channel basically so uh, that's it I'm hoping that uh, you go and check it out uh, I need to also put the um, link to ink journal so that you can go check out that uh, website if you're interested into fountain pens and little samples and yeah I don't know how long this video is but I'm pretty sure it must be at least 30 minutes so it goes fast but you've got a whole lot of <laughs> information about me that you might not have known uh, previously so love you guys stay safe and see you soon bye